we're going to talk about feature creep. So what is feature creep? So it's not creepy. It's actually a common mistake that many startups fall into. Feature creep is when you overbuild a ton of features without validating any core uh, value proposition. So you end up overbuilding features. Uh, you have this idea, you go out, you build this initial feature, you release it out, and people start using it a little bit, you don't get enough traction, and then you realize, oh, if I just go build this one additional feature or two additional features, it's gonna magically fix all my problems and people are gonna go and use this product, we're gonna go viral, we're gonna be great. Uh, and you end up doing this, you get into this cycle over and over again, trust me, we've done it too, where you end up building you know, 20, 30 features, but you never ended up validating that one core hypothesis that you set out to do when you built your startup. So chances are, if your users are not gonna like that one core feature that's supposed to bring them into the product anyway, uh, all these supplementary features that you end up building don't end up solving the core problem of how you get adoption. So the better thing to do is think about the problem you're trying to solve. Think about the feature that's gonna deliver on that value prop that's gonna be 10X, and then keep chipping away at that feature and seeing you, uh, if you can get to the best level possible with that one feature. And if that fails, then you scrap it, you move on to maybe building another feature. It's all about running experiments early on, and you don't wanna get into feature creep where you spend six months, 10 months building out a suite of features, but your user's not using any one of them. Thank you.